Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get these two blades cleaned up. This one doesn't need clay because it's 52100. But someone ordered another Dexter knife, so I might as well heat treat that while I'm in the process. And uh, I had a cut out last night. Now it's Saturday morning. So uh, I filled in a tattoo last night. I know I'm not really supposed to do this on the tutorial, but it's my channel. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Check this out. So basically I just colored in the leaves. I had a big old uh, scroll thing I was gonna do on my knee, but I gotta refine it and all that. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that. But uh, I started over here with like stick and poke and I didn't really like how it was going. You can kind of see it's like different than the others. And I kind of went to that one and changed it. And uh, yeah, each one I kind of did a little bit different. Just cause, uh, well one, I'm looking upside down, just like now I'm looking upside down, but yeah, I colored all these in, and uh, yeah, then I started on the Dexter knife. I'm still a little disappointed, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, yeah, you know, I'd rather experiment on my own skin and see how it goes. Let's get these clayed up and ready. Now, you know, I was thinking, I've done videos where I normalize the blades first, and I've done videos where I don't. I'm not normalizing, because man, I've tested them, normalizing, not normalizing, and really, I don't see that big of a difference. I've never really had, you know, I've had normalized blades warp, I've had non-normalized blades, you know, warp, and I've, it's just, it doesn't make sense, unless you already have an oven or cooking up. Like, if I was heat treating today, and I had a bunch to normalize for tomorrow, I might do it. But I really don't see any difference. Now, I might be wrong, but I haven't had a problem yet. And you know, I test them all. I have a hardness tester, so I'm not just skating files. I've actually tested them and all that. And there's not, you know, unless you're forging and getting them hot, I don't see the point in normalizing. All right, I'm rambling, so uh, yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I still don't have any knives up on my website. I got shirts and stuff up there, so go check it out and uh, let's get to it. So if you're gonna do a hormone, don't let people tell you what to use. Honestly, I've tried gun gum, I've tried refractory cement, I've tried clay, I've tried all of them. As long as they're over 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, it'll work, it doesn't matter. You just have to put it on there. It, it really doesn't matter. I can't, man, I've said it I, on Instagram, I must have said it five times. But yeah, as long as it's over 1500 degrees, this is 2000 degrees. I just like it because I push it out, boom, put it on and that's it. You know, I don't have to worry about any of that other stuff and getting it all messy and mixing a whole bunch up and not using it. And uh, yeah, this is down in the Amazon link, so. <laughs> Trying to push those, might as well get a little bit of money out of this, right? <laughs> All right. What I do is I put a line right on the back and then take a popsicle stick, which I gotta go find because uh, I don't seem to have one here. And I stopped eating popsicle sticks and so maybe I'll have to buy some. <laughs> now I got the big tongue depressors, uh, but I've only got two of these left. I'll have to buy some more because I use the tongue depressors for tattooing, you know, to put down Vaseline and stuff, and, and the stuff I use to put on my uh, tattoos as I'm working them to keep the skin soft and all that. It's basically just Vaseline with some other stuff in it. But anyway, you guys are here for knife making, not tattooing. <laughs> or maybe you like both, I don't know. Like I said, just one line on the back.
Then the same things I use to dip in my ferric. These are titanium rods. That way I don't have to worry about them rusting. You know, I have them all. I just, well, I like, uh, I think they're actually titanium welding rods, like an eighth or 16th inch thin. And then I just cut them up and uh, make them like this. Then I hang them up. Now see, this is why I love using this. Cause all I gotta do is clean it up here. And then this actually has a nail in it right here. Put the nail in here. Boom. Same what I used from last time. Now this is gonna be good for next. And I don't have to worry about it. Boom. I don't have a whole bunch of clay that I mixed up that I'm gonna have to sit there and figure out what to do with. And yeah, I didn't have to mix up a whole bunch of clay and I, you know, so. Next, we'll be painting on any scale. All right, I was gonna set up three cameras, but we only need one camera for this shot. Now everything's dried overnight. We're gonna paint it with any scale. This is ATP 641 any scale. Now, when you buy it from like knife maker suppliers or whatever, it's gonna come in a little jar with like a paint bucket top. Whatever you do, take it out of that and put it in something with like a twist off. Look how bad this is with the twist off. Now, the thing with that paint is it gets all smeared up and you can't close it right. Even though you, you know, take a screwdriver and clean it out, it doesn't seal. And then it dries up, you know, you can add water to it and stuff, but look, I've had this all sealed up for probably over a year and uh, it's nice and wet, doesn't need any water or anything, it doesn't dry out. When it dries out, you might be able to save it, but uh, you know, you might mess with the integrity of what it is. Now, I've made two more blades. Someone actually contacted me, so I made this blade. This is an old design. He's like, can you make me one of those? And uh, I was actually making this one because I got people asking for knives that I don't have any. So I'm gonna do a compound grind off this and then we'll heat treat a bunch of stuff. And the Dexter knife, so. This is gonna be a heat treat. This is gonna be a heat treat extravaganza. But anyway, I'm getting way off topic. What else is new? So I just take my anti scale and a regular paintbrush. Now, like 52100, 80 CRV, anything with chromium or like a slower quench, do not use anti scale. I mean, you can, but it's gonna drop. You're gonna go from like a 66, 65 to like maybe a 60. And uh, believe me, I've done it over and over. So just like 1095 W2, the high, the fast quenching steels. So we just dip it in here a little bit. And my old joke, Picasso the shit out of it. There's a few spots that doesn't stick. If it doesn't, you can take some sandpaper. Let me get some sandpaper. Take like a sanding block and just rough it up a little bit. It should since you've been doing bevels, but you know, you never know. It doesn't have to go on thick, just a thin coat. I guess I should have done this first. <laughs> Why am I doing man? Put this thing back on the hook. I guess I took it off for Instagram or TikTok or whatever one. All those damn platforms. Yeah, see now it's just going all nice and smooth. So just remember to sand it first. <laughs> then the same thing. I should reverse this and see you go. Look, you gotta sand this first and make it look like I didn't mess up. But I messed up and uh, it's part of knife making. So remember that. Even people that do it all the time make mistakes. So don't feel bad. Sometimes you forget, sometimes you're in a rush, but hey, as long as you pick it up and do it again or whatever, get it done before heat treat, you know, even if you don't get it done before heat treat, I've done that too, and uh, hey, you just gotta clean more scale off. Am I talking enough? Nah. <laughs>
The edge is the only thing that's really important about keeping it thin. Unless you know, nah, it doesn't matter. Well, the edge matters. Everything else is just uh, so you don't have to sit there and fight carb or scale or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. Hang it up, let it dry, and then it's heat treat time. It dries pretty quick. All right, next is heat, well, next is grinding bevels, and hopefully I'll do heat treat tonight. We'll see. Here we go. I had to take a day or two off and follow me on Instagram. My lungs were kind of congested again, but uh, we're back at it. And uh, first one's up. The oven's already at 1475. I've been letting it sit for like 10 minutes at 1475. So we're good to go. When we open the door, it should be good. I'll let this sit in there for five, five to 10 minutes, something like that. I got the oil right here that's cooking up. It's already at like 200 degrees. So let's get this in there real quick and uh, get it started. Woo! Well, all right. Good, we only went down to 14.50, so I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Deha. Now I'm just dipping the edge with the uh, ammonia and clay and all that and stuff, and uh, woo, here we go. Let it sit for a while. Woo. Man, I've never had that still fire up like that. <laughs> Man, woo, that almost scared me. Take my old gloves, wipe it all down. Nice and clean. Woo. Barely a decarb. I remember to take the fire alarms off. I always forget that, but not this time. All right. One down, one to go. I'll be back at 52 100. I'm going to do the next one for uh, Instagram. <laughs> I got my slower quench. I think it's uh, Parks AAA or something like that. It's just a slower quench for 52-100. No any scale, nothing. I guess we'll just put the Dexter knife in there first. It's the longest one, thinnest one. And see what we get. <laughs> Went down to 1460, we gotta climb up 1500 for 10 minutes. I think, I gotta go check. I think it's 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, the oven's pretty hot. I got the stove on here. <laughs> There's a stove under my bucket that's got double burners like a camping stove. And I max it out and it gets it up to about 200 degrees. That way when you pull it out of here and to here, you're not shocking the steel and cracking it and all that good stuff. All right, we're already back up to 1475. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you back here. <laughs> what else should I say? Good Lord. Let's get this bad boy out of there and get the next one in. I'm gonna have to eat sometime. I got three more knives to wait on. <laughs> no, it's only 10 o'clock. I got an hour or two before I got to eat. We got plenty of time. <laughs> Now all the way in. Ooh. Keep this closed. There we go. Yeah, 52 on in, it goes all the way in. But this is like only eighth inch steel. I had to grind it down for eighth inch for the Dexter knife. So you gotta be careful there. Wipe it off with the glove. Man, I'm getting oil everywhere. Good Lord. Let's actually do the night this whole series is about, the bushcraft. All right, let's get it in. Oh, we're already back up to 1,500. Good to go. Woo. All right. 
Yeah. 1480. Man, this oven's keep, keeping cooking. I can't speak. I'm so excited. All right, I'll see you. Now, New Jersey Steel Baron says 1475, just like W2. But all the knife forms I read, they say 1500 to 1550, 10 to 15 minutes. So I do 1500 for like 10 minutes. I'll be back when we're out. I'm gonna do the last two. I'm just gonna dump this one. The last two are gonna go uh, off camera. No reason to repeat it over and over. Just in, wipe it off. See, no fire even, just a ball of smoke to the face. <laughs> yeah, man. See, look, I can hold it a lot better because this is 316 to that next one over the eighth inch, man. It kept slipping out of my hand. Parks 50 is the W2. I kept, I couldn't think, I just kept calling it fast quench. Parks 50, I think this is Parks AAA, which is slower. Whatever it is, it's the slower stuff for 52 100. I just showed this one because I did the bushcraft for uh, Instagram. I'll be uh, transparent here. I was going to try to pull it off and pull one over you guys. <laughs> All right, I only got one left. Sneaky, sneaky, huh? <laughs> I'll see you guys at Temper. 65, here's the W2. Skates like glass, doesn't even touch it. Boom, boom, boom. 65, skates like glass. You know, it's W2 and it's got the hormone, so I can't really put it on the tester. The other ones, I'll put the other one, I'll put one of the other ones on the test. I mean, they're all skating. Just to check it. I still got one to go. Yeah, see, they're all skating, but just for my good sanity, I'll go up and uh, put it on the tester. Thought you might want to see that. <laughs> Woo, I forgot to put them all in there. Now they're at like 400 degrees. I use a temp gun. I don't go by the dial because the dial will be wrong. I use my temp gun to check how hot the oven is. Like I'll open it a little bit and just check it like that. Boom. But they're all flat in there. You know, sometimes I'll double them up, but they're all flat. Two hours, now let it cool down at night, and then I'll come back and I'll show you tomorrow how I straighten them, if they need straightening. All right, so I tested all these out. What I do is I'll take a ruler and I'll put it right up against it. There's no gaps at all, slide it up and down, but you have to do both sides. You know, one might be in, one might be out. I did it for every knife. The only knife that came out with a warp is the Dexter knife, so I'm gonna have to do that separate because it's so big. But what I do is I take washers, I put the washers under each side, and then I clamp. You know, you want the warp to be up like this. You know, you up. And then when you take the clamp, you put it just a little bit past straight. You want it bowed down. You know, you don't want it straight because then it'll flop up a little bit. You want it a little bit past, so when you take it out of temper and let it cool, it goes straight. Now sometimes you have to flip it over and do it a few times and go back and forth and back and forth, but each time it should be a little bit less. And uh, sometimes you can grind the rest out and all that. So it, it, it's a process, but uh, but that's about it. Man, I'm, I, I'm still in my workout outfit. I didn't finish dinner, so uh, yeah, I got to call it here. I just wanted to make sure I got the second temper in and the next should be grinding bevels. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff we always tell you. Go check out my websites. I got shirts and Amazon links, stuff like that. Hopefully soon I'll have knives up there. I got a couple on making, a couple on order. Oh man, it's good though. It feels good to be busy. Oh, I almost forgot. Man, look, it's time to put the Dexter knife in. I was editing, I was like, man, I forgot to do the last part. Playlist for the rest of this build is right here and my website's right there. Hope y'all are having a great day. And as always, take it easy. All right, let's put this in. <laughs>